What am I doing with my life? I just want to connect. Why can't I connect with people? All right. It's because I'm dead. Romance with the undead? Sure, I mean, it worked for the Twilight movies, right? We are certainly embracing the comparisons to those other movies um, because they're hugely successful franchises, <laughs> of course. Um, but Please, I, no, we're nowhere near yeah, that. Yeah, it's like, no, no. I mean, it's very flattering. But uh, Warm Bodies definitely has its own tone. And I think there is a, a huge, strong message behind this movie, too. And I think that's really that love breathes life back into people. Yeah, there's a lot going on in it, right? This is my best friend. We even have almost conversations sometimes. Comedian mm -hmm. Rob Corddry plays the zombie buddy. Come with me. I think it, it appeals to everybody. You know, chicks, bros, <laughs> zombies, zombs. Were you like Daniel Day-Lewis? Were you in character 24-7? Yes. That's annoying. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and it may have been annoying to other people, but that is my process. All right, so yeah, of course, we've all heard that vampires can be sexy, but who knew that zombies can be sexy? It's true. By the way, they're, they're attracted to brains. I think that's what they like about me. Ow! The ladies in the hallway, they were debating whether you looked better as a zombie or healthy. Oh, really? By the way, they decided zombie. They decided zombie. Yeah, they decided you were more appealing as an undead person. This is crushing. <laughs> this is, that means that I have to go through an hour and a half of makeup for women to find me attractive. <laughs> That's terrible. Don't be creepy, don't be creepy. Where are you? Yeah, we can't really talk that much to Julius, but I think the thing that she finds attractive in about him is that um, she can see that he's trying, you know, and, and, he, and he's caring and he protects her. He doesn't eat her brains. He looks after her. So there's hope for all men, basically, is what you're saying. There's hope for all men. I mean, this guy literally can say one word. is is a rotting corpse. The odds couldn't be stacked more <laughs> against him if he tried. Oh my god, is that him? Yeah. So Annalie Tipton plays the best friend, but before Hollywood, be all her friends be were... Minnesotan. Explain yourself. Uh, Minnetonka. That's where I live. No! Right now, yeah. Really? Yeah, well, I grew up in Wayzata, and now I live. I was going to go to high school in Wayzata. I have my favorite sweatshirt, which I think is back in my room. Is I had just my high school Wayzata sweatshirt. Yeah, Lake Minnetonka. I was in the uh, Lake Minnetonka figure skating club. Teresa Palmer plays the all-American girl, except there's one problem. When people hear us in this interview, they're gonna go, wait a second, she's not from around she here. She doesn't sound American. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How hard is it for you to lose your natural born accent, to become I, American? In Australia, we grew up watching so much American television that I remember doing the American accent since I was a little girl. What's the key to doing an Australian accent? It's getting the O's right. So, no. No. That's not bad, it's not bad. No. There's like 20 syllables and no. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> if I was a zombie Australian, I only did one word. Yeah. No. Just like, no. No. <laughs> no. There you go. I'm changing everything. We're seeing corpses fighting skeletons, sir. How do we shoot? Shoot this! Hi. Huh? 